Yes, sir, man. We back, man. Welcome back. No moral victories in the building, man. Holla at me, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how you feel. I need a million subscribers. We're getting close. We're getting close. Today, man, we talking about the Milwaukee Bucks, man. The Doc Rivers hiring Adrian Griffin firing, man. <sighs> that was a tough one, man. That was a tough one. I'm seeing a lot of people, they don't want Doc Rivers back as a head coach. They feel like, you know, he always, he can't finish the playoff series. Um, he's respected by his peers, but I don't know if, if the players have the same respect for him. It looks like, uh, you know, who knows what's going to go on there. But uh, more about this Buck situation, man. I feel like they panicked a little bit, man, with this trade. I feel like they panicked. I mean, not with the trade, with the with the firing of Adrian Griffin, man. I feel like they panicked. Um, today I saw Giannis talking about how he loved the coach, Adrian Griffin. But, I mean, it's obvious that if the coach, that if the best player possibly in the league doesn't get along with his head coach, man, it's going to it's, it's gonna head coach, best player. It's going to be the head coach. He's going to go. He's going to go. He's got to get up out of there. So I think they did panic, man. Um, Coach Griffin, he did run some kind of weird sets on defense for sure. Offensively, I think, you know, people wanted to see more Dame and Greek Freak, uh, you know, just them two on the ball only with the pick and roll type game and all that stuff. But, man, I'm not really sure about how they're going to move on because they for sure panicked because the Milwaukee Bucks, second place in the East, 30-13, they're not going to be judged on a regular season. They're going to be judged on if they win a championship or not. It's championship or bust. So this record, I guess they feel like, you know, it's, it's the locker room is just out, all out of control, or it was all out of control when Adrian Griffin was there. So they had to get him out of there, man. But 30-13, um, giving up a lot of points, as y'all seen in my last video. Go back to my last video and see all the points they've been giving up. Um, it's not good. Defensive rotations, playing zone is not good. Um, allowing fast breaks off of, you know, make shot, made shots. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not really talking about the, uh, I don't know. I'm not believing the reports of, you know, he lost it. I'm not, I don't even know. I'm just going to assume, I guess he did lose their locker room because, why else would you fire a guy who, um, you know, 30-13, first season to Doc Rivers? I think, you know, the Milwaukee Bucks also did kind of backstab Adrian Griffin with the Doc Rivers hire because I've seen reports that Doc Rivers was a consultant to Adrian Griffin and, you know, helped him maneuver his way through the coaching. This was his first season as a head coach. So I think, you know, it's kind of messed up how they did that to him. Um, but the Bucks are for sure panicking. I think they should have waited to see what what kind of coach he was after a trade. I think they are a trade away from uh, being a championship team. I think I do think they took a step back. They're not. A, I don't think they're gonna win a championship this year as of right now. Um, they are a trade away, a player away. I would like to see you know judge this coach based off um, his coaching. You know, with the with the with the with the with the trade that they should make. I think they still should get DeJounte Murray um, from the Atlanta Hawks. And he would be a great fit, you know, because a lot of reports are saying um, the defense from the Bucks is because of Drew Holiday is not there anymore. And unfortunately, he, for them, he is on the Celtics, which is the best team, I would, best team in the East for sure. Um, so I think DeJounte Murray would be, you know, he Drew Holiday-like. He uh, provided some provide some size at the guard position because, like I said, you know the Bucks guards are six foot one Dame Lillard and then six foot um, one Malik Beasley, which I think you know that's just too small of a lineup. Even though Malik Beasley is a great shooter, you know Dame he can't go anywhere. He has to start and play those you know those minutes and stuff like that. Um, Bucks are panicking for sure. The Bucks are panicking. Um, also. Let's, let me let me show y'all. Let's look at this contract that um that Doc Rivers has signed. He just signed a three year, three and a half year, <laughs> three and a half year contract um for forty million. That's a lot of money. Um, as y'all can see right here, he is you know top. I'm guessing by this last sentence, he's a top three paid, top three highest paid head coach in the league at a. At a 
11 a year. That's a lot of money right there. So that means the front office, they see a lot in Doc Rivers, but I don't know what they see. But what's catching me is the three and a half years, which means it is over through the 26, 27 season. And I um, let me let's look up these contracts. I did look up Giannis's contract, his contract. So after the 2026, 20, 27 season, which um, is Doc's, which is uh, Doc's contract is through after that season. Um, Greek Freak has a player option. So I feel like if this does not go right, the Milwaukee Bucks will just be cleaning house. They'll be starting new if this does not go right. And also, Damian Lillard, um, he is also a – not also. He has a player option 2026-27 20, season, which is the year that Doc Rivers' um, contract will expire. So his contract expired. Dame's contract expires the same, uh, the same year as Doc Rivers' contract expires. He has a player option, I would say, player option. And then for Greeks, op, um, his is the year after. So it could it could possibly this could, could possibly go all wrong for the Bucks if they don't win. I'm guessing this year. I'm guessing they have to win this year or next year because you know it's like if a head coach could get fired. Forty three games into the season, second best record in the East. Doc Rivers, I'm guessing he's gonna, you know, have a longer, uh, a longer leash to make mistakes or, you know, get camaraderie and get the team back on the same, back on one accord. But I think they just panicked, man, and hired Doc Rivers, who was a consultant. So I guess he's already familiar with the organization. And they didn't. Come on, man, you gotta let that first year head coach get, you know, get some time, man. Hey, I don't, I don't, I really just don't like how they got him up out of there, man. But I think I think if they don't win in the next year or two, if they don't win in two years for sure, I think Greek Freak would demand a trade. I could see him going. I could see him trying to get to a bigger market, man. Take take his brother to a big market, possibly New York. Come to the or come to the Lakers, Greek. Come on, man. Come to the Lakers. I could see that happening, man. I could see him trying to possibly get a trade. If after the next year or two, if things do not go right, but before his player option, before the contract even comes up, um, but yeah, man, that's what I think, man. I, I don't know, man. I just don't know with this, man. That that one that one championship that Doc Rivers won has been carrying his career, man. I'm not saying he's the worst coach, and I'm for sure not saying he's the best coach, but um. I guess they're bringing a respected coach into the locker room, man, to lead this team. So hopefully he has great adjustments. Hopefully, you know, that 2-3 zone, if they're done with that one, I'm hoping. Um, man, man. Whew. Let me know what y'all think, man. Was this a good or bad hiring, good or bad firing, and what y'all think Greek's future looks like, man? Let me know right here. No moral victories, man. No moral victories, man. The, hey, Adrian Griffin, Doc Rivers, no moral victories. You either win or you lose, man. And that's how it goes, man. And I'm about to be up out of here, man. But, hey, before I go, go uh listen to uh this new podcast, man, A Perfect Time to Pod, man. Perfect timing. Go search that up. A Perfect Time to Pod. Perfect timing, man. Good content over there, man. Holla at your boy. Let him know I sent you. We need a million subscribers right now. Come on.